Why, hello there, everybody. Welcome to uh, this video. So today we're going to be talking about 3D printing and what type of resin am I using to achieve such beautiful results. Now, I've been printing these tanks. These are ones off my Patreon, and you guys have been asking, how am I achieving these results that are fairly clean? And what type of resin am I using to get these types of clean prints? So let's push these guys back to the side, and I will show you the exact resin that I use. Da, da, da. Damn you, Kim, so don't buy that resin. Let's pull this bad box open. Yeah. It's just basic, any cubic, gray resin, and that's all it is. It's literally the cheapest resin that I can find off of Amazon. And I will open this up, pull this bad boy out so you can get a better look at it here. I'm knocking my lights over, my goodness. So let me see if I can get my light to stay up. There we go. So this is 3D printing UV sensitive resin. It's just your basic gray. It's the cheapest resin I can get. These for a one kg bottle is about 25 to $26 on Amazon. I highly recommend it. It is good stuff. I will show you my printing settings for this type of resin, but I want to be very clear with you guys here that my resin printer settings are not necessarily gonna be the same for your resin printer because they're not all the same. But I will show you those results now. All right, so we're at my resin printer. So hopefully you can see this is the last print I just did. I need to peel this bad girl, I should say. I was gonna say bad boy off this resin print bed. But if we go down here, huh? this is the settings. I'll go back and then we'll click on this one. And then if I go on settings, you'll see here, my initial exposure is 50 seconds. My turn off delay is one second because it makes the print 10 times faster. Exposure time is three seconds. Now this is not for every single print. If I'm doing small infantry models, I can get away with about 2.7 seconds for the exposure time. Um, if I'm doing very big, heavy prints, I actually bump this up to 3.5 seconds. So that way there's no failures later on down the line. She was a pretty, long print as you can see here i didn't want anything to fail so i bumped it up just a little bit higher to ensure a quality print and that's at three seconds the rising height is 10 millimeters motor speed eight millimeters a second and then the bottom layers is four layers that's basically it now if you guys are interested in any of these models they are all available on my patreon whenever you unlock the 15 dollar tier or higher you get every single model I've ever released. They are all hollow, as you can kind of hear. They're all hollow and they're all pre-supported, including that girl model that you just seen there. So you're gonna get dozens of files for 15 bucks and I release new files every single month. So it is a one hell of a deal. If you guys are interested, please check it out. Um, obviously these tanks can come apart and you can twist them. They come in all different pieces so that way you can assemble them however you want. And I also include files for FDM printers as well so that way you guys can print out those tanks as well with that type of 3D printer. I'm making this video too long. I'll have more for you later.